One of the common problem with the Windows user is related to the performance and the privacy for which many people recommend to switch to Linux, which is not easy and good for everyone especially for the user who are using Windows from a long time and are not that tech savvy. So there is one of the best solution that I usually do and recommend is debloating your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can quickly debloat your Windows 11 operating system to get the better performance and maintain your privacy. Right now you can see I'm on my Windows 11 and if I right click on the Windows icon and click on Task Manager. So as of now, if I go to the Performance tab. So now here in the CPU section, you can see the utilization is high that is going around 30%. The process count is around 168. The thread count is around 1900 and the handle count is around 71,000. And this is really huge as I'm not using any kind of application, but still the process count the usage is really high. Same with the memory, you can see around 40% of the memory utilization is being consumed. Now this is exactly what causes the poor performance and the lagging and the freezing issues on your computer. All right, so now what you have to do, bring up any of your favorite browser, and in the search bar, you have to type win 11 dbloat GitHub, and you will be getting this first GitHub website GitHub from the rarefire win 11 dbloat. You need to click on this one only. Okay, so once you come up here, and if you scroll down a bit, you can read about this Windows 11 dbloat, and it says it's a simple, easy to use and lightweight PowerShell script that can remove the pre-installed Windows bloatware application Disable the telemetry declutter the experience by disabling or removing the intrusive interface element ads and many more things. Now before running it guys what I would recommend you that is still you create a restore point in case if these optimization doesn't work or you really don't like it then you will have a way to revert back the action. Click on your Windows search type restore. Click on create a restore point now here at the bottom. You have to click on create if this option is not being highlighted then click on configure turn on the system protection click on apply click on ok and then click on create now give any name like i will type win 11 d bloat and click on create and it will take only few seconds and the restore point will be quickly created all right so once it's been done now click on close click on ok so now let's see how exactly you have to use this d bloater so if you scroll down a bit you get two different options either you can use a script or you can download the latest version of the script. So we will go with the easiest way, and I will click on the download latest version, and the file will be quickly downloaded in a zip file, so open the downloaded folder then make a write. Click on it, click on extract, all click on extract, and now it will come up with the Windows 11 dbloat folder again, make a double click on it. Now here you will find many different file, and if you wanna know more about it, if you wanna read about it, then you can click on the readme information, or you can check other file over here. All right, so here you get two different option. Either you can go again with the PowerShell script or you can just run a bat command. So I will go with this easiest one. So look for the run file, right click on it, click run as admin, click on yes. And the command prompt will be up and very soon the PowerShell page will be up. Now it says press any way to continue. So just press any key. And now it says default mode, apply the default setting, press one. Press two for the custom mode, modify the script to your. Need number three app removal mode select and remove application without making other changes. So here we will go with the custom mode. So I will type number two and hit the enter key. Now it give you a few other options. Don't remove any application. For that I have to type and only remove the default selection of the bloatware application from the app list. TXT now if you don't want to do anything manually and you want that this application should automatically debloat the application that you can find in the app list.txt in order to find this txt file, you can bring up the win 11 dbloat folder. And here somewhere you will find the app list here it is now if you make a double click on it. So it will list all kind of application that will be automatically removed if you go with the option number one. So the bloatware like Microsoft Clip Jam the Bing. Finance Bing News Bing Microsoft 3D Weaver Office OneDrive. Now you can check here that what exactly it will be debloating and what all it will be removing. So this is the first option. And if you want to go with a quick process without doing anything, then you can press the number one key that says only remove the default selection. Then you have removed default selection of bloatware apps, as well as mail and calendar apps, developer apps, and the gaming app. Then it says select which app to remove and wish to keep. So I will go with the third option. But if you want to try the number one or second, then you can also go with that option. So for that, I will type the number three and again, hit the enter key and it will bring up this kind of box here. 
so it's very easy for me to find out that what application I want to remove what I want to keep now before choosing here I would recommend you that check this box at the bottom that says only show. Installed application all right so check this option. And now from here you can choose exactly what you want to delete what you want to keep Bing News Bing whether gaming app Microsoft I will remove all of them gaming app if you want to keep it then you can keep it then we have Microsoft official hub selected collection sticky notes Microsoft Paint I will keep it Microsoft people I will remove it screen sketch. I will remove it Windows photos. I will keep it calculator camera. So this is my preference. This is my requirement. So I will keep it unchecked. But if you want to remove, then you can remove it Microsoft Zoom music, Zoom video. I will go ahead and just remove it all right. So once you are done, then finally you have to click on confirm and it says disable Xbox game screen recording. Yes, I will disable it. So I will type the Y key again, hit the enter key. Then it says remove all the pin application from the start menu this cannot be reverted and it'll give you three different options don't remove any pinned app from the start menu remove all the pin app from the start menu for this user only and remove all the pin from all kind of user account all right so i want to remove it from my user account only so i will type number one and hit the enter key disable telemetry diagnostic data app launch tracking and the targeted app yes so I will type again why hit the enter key disable tape trick suggestion and adds in the start setting notification yes. Very annoying so again I will type the Y key and hit the enter disable and remove. Bing search Bing AI Cortana. So yes I will disable it so again I will type Y and hit the enter key if you want to disable the Windows Copilot. So again I will type Y Windows recall snapshot again. Yes restore the old Windows 10 style context menu. Now if you don't like the Windows 11 context menu. And if you right click on the desktop, so you can see you get this kind of task menu, even if you right click on any of the application, you get the new context menu of Windows 11, where each and every time you have to click on show more options. So if you don't like this one and want the old Windows 10 style context menu again, you can type Y hit the enter key. Do you want to make any changes to the taskbar and related services? No, do you want to make any changes to Windows Explorer? No, do you want to disable any context menu option? If you want to disable, then you can choose why, and then you can choose what exactly you want to. Disable I don't want to disable anything, so I will type in key that is for the. No please enter to confirm your choices and execute the script to press Ctrl plus C to quit OK. So in order to execute, I will hit the enter key, and the process of the removal will be now started all right, that seems interesting, and it doesn't took a long time, and it says the script completed successfully press any key to exit OK. And let me close the PowerShell as well, so the changes are being applied now, but I still I would recommend you that go ahead and restart the computer so that it can properly apply the changes all right so the computer has been restarted now, and one thing I noticed that the booting time also has been decreased, and it's booting very fast now, and now let's start with the changes that we applied, and the very first one was the context menu this time if I right click on the desktop, so I can find the old context menu even if I right click on any of the application, I find the old context menu all. Right so one changes has been successfully applied now in order to. See the performance if I click on the windows icon click on all apps ok. So I can see that majority of the bloatware has been removed, yes the clip jam the slider Microsoft to do all kind of bloatware, and all kind of telemetry has been disabled. Now let's see the performance, so if I again bring up the task manager, go to the performance, and bingo now you can see the CPU utilization that was going around the 30%. Now it has been reduced to 7% 4%. And if I talk about the process huge difference it came to around 140 the thread count that was around 1900. Now it's around 1700 handle count that was around 71,000 I guess now it has been reduced to 54 or 55,000. And even the memory usage if you remember that was around 40% now it has been to 29%. That's really a good difference that it made, and if you want to do some more optimization, then you can again bring it up and choose some other option as well that will be removing many other kind of bloatware. So now once you have properly optimized and deep loaded your Windows 11, you will be getting the better performance. And even if you do the gaming, then you will be getting the maximum FPS without any kind of lagging or the freezing problem. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this information useful. And I really recommend each and every user that kindly go ahead and apply all these optimization deep load. Your Windows 11 or 10 before using it. And if you like the video guys, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye.
and if you install dual boot operating system and you not know how to uninstall dual boot operating system, then you can see the video on your screen by.